This weekend's rainy weather isn't stopping local and visiting firefighters from tackling swift water rescue instructor training. The Panama City Fire Department is hosting the course and as News 13's Courtney Fegley tells us, the training will help other fire departments learn these critical life-saving skills. The Panama City Fire Department teamed up with firefighters from across the country to become swift water rescue instructors. These skills are critical in an emergency involving moving water. Moving water uh, up to one, one knot or one mile per hour or more is considered swift water. And what we're going to do is, is enter the water, bring out victims that are, that are trapped, uh, succumb to the water's uh, volume and pressure so that we can bring them to safety. The five-day course includes a classroom curriculum as well as physical training. Saturday marked day three of training and swift water rescuers practiced field scenarios such as highlining. A highline is when we stretch a piece of rope across a river or a body of water uh, to an anchor point on either side, maybe a, a tree or some substantial object. We take a boat, put it on a trolley system with a set of, um, a set of pulleys and ropes. We're going to pulley or trolley that boat out to the middle of the, the river or a creek or stream and then lower it down to the to the rest or wherever we're going to do the rescue at to the patient. Panama City Fire Department officials say certifying firefighters from outside of the community will enable them to do in-house training when they return to their departments. We can take Swift Water Rescue 1 and 2 back to our agencies, teach our guys, our women, how to be Swift Water Rescue technicians. Panama City Fire Department officials say they just want to give back to locals and surrounding communities, especially those that helped Bay County during Hurricane Michael. If we're called upon to assist with a natural disaster in the state of Florida for a deployment, we can take those trainings and those assets with us and help other agencies and pay them back the, the kindness that they paid us. In Panama City, Courtney Fegley, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Panama City Fire Department officials say they're aiming to become a deployable urban search and rescue water element by the end of next summer.